Hello people, my name is Jay. Well, today is your lucky day, because I will be introducing my lifelong friend, Genital Herpes. So, buckle up and get ready people. Our last destination will be Utopia. First of all, what is genital herpes? Genital herpes is a disease caused by the herpes simplex virus, of which there are two types. Type 1 usually causes oral herpes, but still, in most cases, genital herpes is caused by the second type of herpes simplex virus. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated of 3.7 billion people under age 50 have HSV-1 infection globally, and an estimated 470 million people age 15 to 49 for type 2. The highest numbers of people newly infected were adolescents. More women than men are infected. 1 in 4 women compared to 1 in 5 men. What are the signs and symptoms? Symptoms are commonly known as cold sores or fever blisters on lips and mouth for type 1 and burning or itching sensation around and on genitals for type 2. Sometimes fluid can come out of vagina, and genitals might hurt while urinating. Additional symptoms could be low back pain, flu-like symptoms like fatigue or fever, and swollen lymph nodes. How is the transmission? HSV is transmitted through direct contact by rubbing off from one person on another and through genital fluid. HSV-1 is usually transmitted by kissing and during oral sex which makes the virus transmitted to genitals. HSV-2 is most often passed by vaginal sex and anal sex. However, HSV cannot survive long on a non-living surface, so there is no real risk of getting it from a bathtub or a toilet. Then, neonatal herpes can occur when an infant is exposed to HSV in the genital tract during delivery. Also, the infection risk increases on people with immunodeficiency like people with HIV. Why must you concern it? HSV actually lives on the nurse but it can travel to the skin where it becomes transmittable. Then, it comes back to the nerve, usually the spine, to remain dormant for a while. That's why herpes is lifelong and incurable. Yes, lifelong. I told you herpes is my lifelong friend, remember? Moreover, some people can be infected without developing any symptoms and knowing it. This makes it very dangerous, right? Then, the complications of herpes might be severe, such as encephalitis and keratitis or eye infection. An infected person could also obtain psychosocial impacts, such as social stigma and bad sexual relationships. Then, how to prevent it? Let's prevent genital herpes with utopia. You Use a condom every time you have sex. T. To circumcise can provide protection for male. O. Oral sex should be prevented if your partner has a cold sore. B. Pregnant women with herpes should inform healthcare providers. I. If your partner has sores on his or her genitals, don't have sex. A. Ask your partner politely if he or she has ever had a sexually transmitted disease. Now, you have heard all about herpes, right? I bet that you all don't want to be like me. So, what are you waiting for? Let's start preventing genital herpes with... Utopia!